Decoding the Edit Decision List, a filmmaker's map. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into an intriguing topic that's essential for both budding filmmakers and anyone curious about the post-production process in film and television. We're talking about the Edit Decision List, often abbreviated as EDL. If you've ever wondered how directors and editors transform hours of raw footage into a compelling story, then you're in the right place. Let's unravel the mystery of the EDL together. An edit decision list, EDL, is fundamentally a document used in the post-production phase of film and television production. It lists out all the decisions made by the editor about which shots to use, when to cut them, and where to insert them in the final sequence. Think of it as a detailed roadmap that guides the editing process, ensuring that every piece of the puzzle fits perfectly to tell the intended story. Understanding an EDL requires knowing its key components. Each entry in an EDL typically includes clip name or number, identifies the specific shot or piece of footage, Timecode in and timecode out, specifies the exact starting and ending points of the clip in the timeline. Transition type, details how one clip transitions to the next, for example, a cut, fade, or dissolve. Comments, any additional notes from the editor regarding the clip or transition. By compiling these details, an EDL provides a clear and concise blueprint for editors helping them to efficiently assemble the final product. The EDL is crucial for several reasons in the post-production process. Firstly, it ensures consistency and accuracy in the editing workflow, especially when multiple editors are working on the same project. It also facilitates the transfer of projects between different editing systems or software, making it a versatile tool in the digital editing era. Lastly, EDLs are invaluable for archiving purposes, allowing filmmakers to revisit and reconstruct projects if needed. Reading an EDL might seem daunting at first, but it's quite straightforward once you understand its structure. Each line of the EDL corresponds to a specific edit or transition, laid out in the order they appear in the final film. By following the time codes and clip names, one can visualize the editing sequence without even looking at the footage. This ability makes the EDL an essential tool for editors, directors, and anyone involved in the post-production process. And there you have it. A closer look at the edit decision list and its pivotal role in the world of film and television production. Whether you're an aspiring filmmaker or just fascinated by the magic of cinema, understanding the EDL is a step closer to comprehending the complex art of storytelling through editing. We hope this video sheds light on the subject and inspires you to explore further. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more insightful content. See you in the next video.